<laughs> Speaking of Mother's Day, if you're still trying to figure out what gift to get her and you can't afford a luxury car like that one, well, you can't go wrong by pampering her with breakfast in bed or taking her out to brunch. Well, here in the studio this morning, Chef Juan Esquivel Arias and Chris Inzepatzakis from Melly's Cafe with some delicious ideas for Mom this Thank Mother's you. Day. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank Very you. Nice to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. So, one of the first things you've got here is cinnamon roll waffles. Now, from here, this smells delicious. Tell us about this. It's actually our uh, signature uh, waffle butter, and it's mm. infused with uh, cinnamon sugar. Mm. On top, you see some uh, cream cheese icing. Yes. Uh, sprinkled with caramel sauce and a cinnamon stick. And the complimentary um, Those, juice that goes with this? Blend. Yeah, all our juices are natural. Right. They're fresh squeezed with ingredients. One of my favorite things uh, for yes. my, my daughter when she's at the cafe. She loves the orange juice. And so our next dish here, the Mamma Mia Eggs Benedict, one yeah. of your Mother's Day specialties. Yeah, exactly. This is a special made for, for our mamas. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pulled pork, uh, pulled pork with a perfect poached eggs, mm -hmm. chipotle hollandaise sauce, and pickled onions in the top. So tell me something, it's always difficult to get the poached eggs just right. What's the secret to making them perfect? It is, you gotta add a little bit of white vinegar to the water okay. and let the eggs uh, cook for four minutes. All right, so you heard it here first. Four, four minutes. minutes, white vinegar, and they're perfect. I love it. Our next dish, that looks so delicious, mimosa pancakes, complete with a mimosa. Of course, <laughs> complete with a mimosa. This is an orange heaven, actually. It's our mimosa, it's our, uh, mimosa pancakes, obviously. Mm -hmm. Our uh, signature pancake butter mm -hmm. infused with orange zest and orange juice. Mm. Topped with Sefaria's orange marmalade mm -hmm. and a mimosa cream cheese cream on top. Very nice. That is beautiful. Yeah. And then our next dish, Grandma's Garden Hash. Now, this is an unusual take on. I, when I think of hash, I'm thinking of like, you know, corned beef hash and potatoes, but that's super healthy right there. Yeah, this, this is a fun is... favorite. That's yeah. the third year in a row we're running it. Okay. It's an awesome dish. You know, summer is coming, and so everybody wants vegetables, mm -hmm. and everybody wants to look uh, sharp and nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then an egg on top. Egg on the top, yeah. And then coconut cream pie, yeah. but French toast. Our uh, homemade challah bread dipped in our vanilla mm -hmm. crust, and it's uh, topped with rusted almonds and coconut flakes and uh, coconut cream cheese uh, cream, actually. Can't wait to try that later on. Yes, you can always sprinkle it with syrup, agave syrup or natural syrup. Very nice. It smells great from here. But we're going to make for everyone so they can see this recipe, the watermelon sirloin salad, right? Exactly. We're going to make, we'll start making it right now. All right. We're going to use some spring mixed greens. Okay. We're going to put them in the bowl. All right. There's some watermelons, mm -hmm. you know, summer. Colorful salad. Very salads, nice. Right? Mm -hmm. I put some uh, cucumbers. The good thing about the salads, uh, you can put anything you want, mm -hmm. whatever you want. In this case, we want to put tomatoes, mm -hmm. uh, feta cheese. This That's feta just cheese. regular feta. Feta cheese. Okay. Yes, feta cheese. Mm -hmm. Don't forget salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Always just in your a salad. pinch. Salt That's and it? pepper. Always in your okay. salad. That's it. And okay. radishes too. Radishes. Okay. It's colorful radishes. Mm -hmm. it's very. It looks very beautiful yeah. in there. And uh, this is Meli's recipe. It's mm -hmm. a aged balsamic vinegar. Okay. So you just put the we'll vinaigrette put on top there, there, and then mix it up. And mix it up all together, and then. All right. That's it. We want to plate it out here. If someone wanted to make that vinaigrette at home, what's the best way to create it's that? I know uh, it's your secret it's recipe. It's a secret, <laughs> exactly. But Can you they, share a little bit of the secret? Yeah, they got, they got, they got to have uh, good olive oil mm -hmm. and good balsamic. So vinegar. really an aged one really does make the difference? Exactly, yeah. Okay. It's beautiful, this is beautiful imported uh, Greek olive oil will make all the difference in the world. All right. And right here we have the... And there's the, the finished product. With the top sirloin, it's prime top sirloin. Okay. And a little bit uh, pickled onions in the top. All right, great. And there you have it. Well, thank you so much for coming in. And for Thanks a look again. at these recipes, you can also check out our website later on today. Go to cbschicago.com for a link to the recipes later on this morning.